Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Reverend Father Professor Fidelis I. Abulano, a Catholic priest of Ahana Diocese. Mbise. I am from Butumbise and I serve as a Vice Chancellor of a University in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I am here at the request of Mbise Diaspora Worldwide to intimate you on the preparations for the historic Episcopal consecration of His Excellency Mozino Simeon Okezumuri. The auxiliary bishop to the Apostolic Administrator of Ahena Diocese, Archbishop Lucius Iwajiru Ugoji. We've been through a lot, and our story is not new to anyone. But the Lord sustained us by His grace, and we rejoiced in hope. And at this time, the Lord has shown us mercy by granting us our prayers and giving us this Christmas gift, the gift of Mozino Mwobi, whose ordination will be a few days to Christmas. That ordination is on December 19th, 25 days from today. Today is November 24th, 2023. The last time we had this type of ordination was in Rome when the Premier Bishop was ordained on January 6, 1988. Only a few persons were privileged to witness the ordination of Bishop Chikwe. But this time, we are having the ordination in Mbisa. And that is the first time the Episcopal consecration of the Catholic Bishop is taking place in Mbisa. It is a historic moment. And it is going to witness a large turnout of people. It will be the third high point of events in that cathedral. That cathedral has its own history. The first time we had such a large crowd was the very first mass that was celebrated in that cathedral. And that was on the 3rd of August, 2002 when 12 priests were ordained in that cathedral. That number is symbolic. 12 pillars of the church. And by the grace of God, I was among the 12 ordained on that day in 2002. The second time we had such an event that drew crowds from various places was the funeral mass of the Premier Bishop, the new Bishop Vito Chico, on the 7th of October 2010. And this one, we're going to have such a huge number of persons attending this Episcopal consecration. And it is why we are believing that we shall come there in our numbers from the east and the west, from the north and the south. We shall gather to dance like David and to give thanks. It is going to be a day of thanksgiving and it will be remembered as such for a long time to come. It is a day to show our gratitude to God the Father of mercies and to thank His Holiness Pope Francis for listening to our voices, to thank the Dicastery for Evangelization and the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, 
they all have worked hard to see to the realization of our prayers. We shall not come empty handed that day, no. Uh, because the scripture says you can't come to the last house empty handed. The Almighty has done great things for us for Jesus' name, and this is why we are giving thanks. We thank the Angela Lady Council Worldwide, led by Professor Idiopology, the convener, and Dr. Judy Homer, and the other members of the steering committee for the diaspora involvement in the preparations for this ordination. We are hoping to organize a fundraising event soon, in a few days from today, to raise funds to support the Episcopal Consecration of Mojima Mobi. Don't be left out. We want to be part of this history making event uh, because not all of us will be there to witness another episcopal consecration of a bishop in this land and so for all those who have worked behind the curtain to make things move at this pace we thank you so much that day we hope to um, show the world that we have a large heart, that we have hearts of gold. And the world will see that we are a people that are hospitable. Thank you for your involvement and be um, available to the Indian unions and groups especially in the same USA and also Kama. We look forward to seeing you on the day for the fundraising. You'll get the information from your various um, leaders in the various unions according to the states in the USA and Canada and possibly any other countries that we link up to the virtual conference where the fundraising will be made. Um, Zell accounts will be made available to you after the meetings they will have in the coming days. May God bless you and may you rejoice that the Lord hears the prayers of his people and brings them peace. Push it.